I call the Tuesday, April 19th, 2022, board meeting to order. And I ask Zachary Yoon, third grade student at Ebenezer Elementary, to come to the podium, please. He will be leading us in the Pledge to the Flag. Hi, my name is Zachary Yoon, and you, and may you please join me in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Welcome to everyone here this evening. It's great to see so many students and families here with us. Um, it's always great, this part of the meeting, um, when we're going to have presentations and we get to meet um, students and families and recognize their wonderful accomplishments. So at this time, we have nine board members present this evening. And just a reminder that our meetings um, are being live streamed and that the meetings can be viewed on the Cornwall London School District website. So now we will now move along to the presentation part of our meeting. And I call to the podium Cedar Crest High School Odyssey of the Mine Nationals and State, well, we're doing Nationals tonight, National Team. And if Mrs. Lowry, Mr. Lowry, and Ms. Yeagley, the coaches, could come to the podium, please. Thank you for welcoming us. This year, the team consisted of one seventh grader from Cedar Crest Middle School and five fifth graders from Cornwall Elementary School. The team's problem was to design and build a structure like this that weighed no more than three sheets of paper that contained nested structures inside of it. During their performance, the team would unnest the structures, test the structure for weight, and they had to include a performance that included storage. The team chose to do a performance about uh, photograph storing memories. At their regional competition, they placed first place. Their structure held 1,000 pounds, and they earned a Renatra Fusca Award for building a lar enlarged functioning replica of a Polaroid camera. The camera, when a button was pressed, would flash and spit out a picture that was then put onto a photo album character. At the state competition, their structure held 1,090 1 pounds and they placed first place, qualifying for the world finals in May in Iowa. Uh, I'd like to uh, bring the team up real quick and have them introduce themselves, if that's OK. I'm Bryn, I play the photo album, and I made all the negatives in our scene. 
And I also helped um, paint all the boxes. Uh, <laughs> I'm Chase Demchik, and um, I helped make the structures, and I played the brother in the skit. Hello, I'm Katie McCracken, or Kat McCracken. I play the sister in the skit, and I helped mostly with making the skit and cutting most of the boxes. I'm Flint Lowry, and I made the and I helped made the structure, and I ma and I made some of the main set and showed my costume. My name's Ethan Demchek, and I helped build a structure. I'm Wyatt Freed. I helped. I played as the dog handing the weights to the weight placers. I helped build a structure, and I helped create the Polaroid camera. Thank you for your time. Thank you and congratulations to the middle school national qualifying team. It's great to see you this evening. Congratulations and congratulations to parents and families that are with you this evening. At this time, we'll move. Um, we're not going to um, have um, our students here from the state qualifying team. There is a conflict. So we will move along to number two, the state qualifying swimmer. And I ask Ms. Um, Smith to come to the podium, please. Hi, thank you very much for allowing us to honor Logan and his hard work and dedication over the last four years for swimming for the Falcon Swim Club. Logan has had high goals and high expectations for himself, and I believe that he has achieved each and every one of them. This past year, he has the privilege of holding the Cedar Crest pool and team record for the 100 breaststroke. He also has the privilege of holding a four-time uh, Lancaster Lebanon League champion and the meet and pool record, and that pool record was set in 1999, so that's a great honor for Logan. Logan also went on to the PIAA district meet and is a three-time district champion, and he has also a went on to the state meet, and he has won one bronze and two silver medals at the state meet in the 100 breaststroke. Thank you. And now we'll move to the state qualifying bowler and I call Mr. Leal, the coach, to the podium, please. Thank you. Uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak to you about your bowling team. Um, we had a successful year. We had eight bowlers. Four of them went all the way to regionals. And one stood out. I'd like to introduce you to that young man. Darren, if you step up, please. This way. <laughs> um, one bowler became from uh, regionals became the number one man in the East. We uh, bowled against the West, which is the Pittsburgh side, and uh, he went to the state playoffs. During, da during Darren's success while at Cedar Crest in ninth grade, he won districts, he won state as a team, as well as being a, sta a state member of the all-American state team. In 10th grade, he won MVP, he won leagues, he won, um, his average was 235. At that year, state was canceled because of our COVID pandemic. In his 10th grade year, he won MVP, uh, won, uh, again, LL leagues. His average was 234. And then we had a, an abbreviated uh, state playoffs, and we were one short, which is okay. In his 11th grade year, again, MVP, um, he, his average was 234, and we won regionals and, again, taken off the state, but I'm not sure all what happened, but it didn't make it. In 12th grade, which is just, just passed, um, won MVP again for LL League. His average was 234, and he went to state, and he got second place. And 
we could have had a state championship, but it's pretty nervous up there when you're facing the best. <laughs> when you're facing the best, he is the best, and we just fell short a little bit. I'd like to introduce you to his dad, uh, Coach Zombro, and we have another Zombro coming through, uh, Toby. <laughs> so we're excited about the next couple of seasons as well. So thank you. Thank you, and congratulations to both Logan and Darren. Thank you for being with us, and also to their families. Congratulations. And now we're going to move along to um, April Students of the Month, and I call Mr. Groff, principal of the high school, to the podium, please. Hey, good evening, everyone. It's so good to see all of you. Hey, congratulations to Darren and Logan, outstanding young men as well, and our new swimming coach is a little nervous tonight, and she is mom. So, Logan, please stand a second. Yeah, good look at this fine young man. So it is my honor tonight to introduce and celebrate the accomplishments of two Cedar Crest High School students who are being recognized for their overall well-rounded character, leadership, academic achievements, and school involvement. So I'd like to introduce our Students of the Month for April, beginning with Mackenzie Kirkuslager. Unfortunately, Mackenzie could not join us tonight, but I would like to recognize her. Mackenzie is the daughter of Stephen and Karen Kirkuslager. Mackenzie is a member of the National Honor Society. She is a CCHS student ambassador and serves as a peer tutor. Mackenzie has been a future Farmers of America officer for the past four years and a member of our CCHS girls basketball team, where she served as a captain this past season. Mackenzie has earned the National Merit Certificate from 2018 to the present, and during this school year, she earned the Keystone State FFA degree. Mackenzie's future plans include attending Penn State Schuylkill to major, major in radiological sciences, as well as continue her basketball career. And the Sierra Crest High School administration staff are super proud of Mackenzie and have her represent our student bodies in April Student of the Month wherever she is right now. Congratulations, Mackenzie. And now I'd like to introduce Carolina Orta as our other student of the month for April. So Carolina, come on down here. Carolina is the daughter of Juan Orta and Caroline Ortiz. Mrs. Ortiz, would you please stand to be recognized? <laughs> Carolina is a member of the National Honor Society, a VEDEM, Key Club, Minithon, and Prom Committee. She is the senior class vice president and serves as a student ambassador. Caroline was also a member of our field hockey team where she served as a captain this past season and participated in our musical. Caroline has earned several awards, the Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership Alumni Award, Distinguished Principals List, and the Beaming Backstage Musical Award. Carolina's, Carolina's, excuse me, Carolina's future plans are to attend Lebanon Valley College and major in their five-year speech language pathology program and to continue her field hockey career. The Sierra Crest High School administration staff are proud to have Carolina represent our student body as an April Student of the Month. Congratulations, Carolina. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Groff, and congratulations to Mackenzie and Carolina for being April Students of the Month. And thank you for parents and congratulations to all the family members here this evening with those two outstanding students. We're gonna move now to Cornwall Elementary School Student of the Year. And I ask Mr. Arntz, principal, to come to the podium, please. Good evening, everybody. It is my privilege tonight to introduce Natalie Weimer as Cornwall Student of the Year for 21-22 school year. She is here tonight with her parents Herman and Alyssa Weimer and her brother Evan. If they could please stand to be recognized.
So when we do this every year, picking us through the year, it's always a, a tough task. And um, as we were going through this process, it was very evident that Natalie stood out amongst her peers. And so the question is, what makes her a student of the year? And three things kept coming forth when you talk with the teachers and just the people she's around. It's kindness, hard work, and the fact that she is a shining light. From my opinion, and many of the teachers, she's had a Cornwall. Natalie is one of our kindest students. She puts others first, is willing to work with a student who is left out, and is always willing to lend a helping hand and a kind word. You won't find a harder worker at Cornwall Elementary. Natalie goes above and beyond every time she's asked to do a task. She's diligent with her schoolwork, extracurricular activities, and her relationships. She is constantly striving to do her best, but is never too hard on herself. Lastly, she is a shining light. She is a type of student who teachers clamor to have on their lists every year. Did I get Natalie this year? Uh, and you have to tell three of the four teachers, no, you did not. Um, she lights up the room, and others are drawn to that light. She brings compassion, a strong worth ethic, calmness, and a kind smile that is infectious. Besides being a student of the year, Natalie has an A average in school, plays the saxophone in our band, participates in Cornwall's chorus and Cornwall Connection, and was a participant in our geography bee. Outside of school, Natalie is involved in gymnastics and Girl Scouts. Many of her hobbies and interests include the following cooking and baking, reading, skiing, boating, and meteorology, which I hear is a new passion. Again, it is my privilege to be Natalie's principal and afford the opportunity to present her as Cornwall Student of the Year. Natalie, congratulations. I would like to thank Mr. Arts for choosing me to be the Student of the Year at Cornwall Elementary and for working at recognizing me at today's school board meeting. I would also like to thank all of the supportive teacher and teachers and staff that I have had since I was a kindergartner at Cornwall Elementary. Thank you. says for Superior Performance 2021-2022. Congratulations to you, what an honor to be named Student of the Year at Cornwall. And all the nice things that have been said about you, we look forward to seeing some good things coming uh, when you get to the middle school, so congratulations. Congratulations to the family as well. And we usually have a few teachers here yeah, too. Yeah, I'm Mrs. Not sure. Mrs. Rady's here, Mrs. Yeah. Harris here. Yeah. So. So you have a big support system. So congratulations to you. Thank you. Right, thank you. And now we'll move to Ebenezer Elementary School Student of the Year. And I call Dr. Bosman, principal, to the podium, please. Good evening. It is my pleasure to introduce Ebenezer's Student of the Year, Maddie Doer. She's joined here tonight by her parents, Shannon and Ryan Doer. If they would stand up, and Sister Riley and an uncle and grandma are here, so if they would all stand up and be recognized. And we also have some Ebenezer teacher. We have Mrs. Bickles here. Mrs. Donick is also here. Mr. Sobel's in the back as well. All here to support Maddie. As Mr. Art said, it's not an easy task to narrow down a student of the year. But when we did so, and Maddie stood out. Maddie displays all the qualities we look for in a student of the year. At Ebenezer, we have school rules or expectation of be respectful, be responsible, and be ready to learn. And Maddie displays all of these every day and with a smile that just captures everyone. She has strong academic skills and is a good person who's respected and admired by many. Maddie demonstrates natural leadership skills. And I thought about this. When she comes into EMN, she's like the sergeant. She takes over. 
And like E.F. Hutton says, when Maddie talks, people listen. So I'm going to turn it over to Maddie Doer, Ebenezer's Student of the Year. I'd first like to thank the school board and Dr. Bosman, along with all my past and present teachers. Um, I'm incredibly thankful for all the experiences and opportunities I've had at Ebenezer. I'd also like to thank my family and close friends for always being there for me. It's an honor to be selected when there are so many amazing fifth graders out there. A little bit about me. I've gone to Ebenezer since kindergarten. I've had Mrs. Stair, Mrs. Dove, Mrs. Cooper, Mr. Hugar, Mrs. Smith, Mrs. Cuck, Miss Saki, now known as Mrs. Hitz. And this year I've had Mrs. Bickle, Mrs. Wolf, Mrs. Donkey, and a bunch of other specials teachers. In my free time, I like to hang out with my little sister Riley and some of my friends use technology, do crafts, paint, and bake. In fifth grade, I've participated in the Cedar Crest High School and the production of The Wizard of Oz, the Ebenezer Spelling Bee, which I tied first place with Jenna Francois, the District Spelling Bee, which I got first placed in and was really happy to bring the trophy home to Ebenezer. I got I participated in Ebenezer's Geography Bee and got third place, participated in Ebenezer's Chorus. I've been a fifth grade friend or book buddy to a couple first graders. And as Dr. Bosman mentioned, I've been the full-time assistant slash partial director of Ebenezer Morning News. In the future, I'm excited for Cedar Crest High School and Middle School, and I plan to join a couple clubs there. I plan to go to college, vet or culinary school, and build a family. Before I finish, I'd like to leave you with a couple messages that are important to me. Be kind, respect others, take responsibility for yourself and your actions, be safe in those actions, and never stop learning. You can always improve. Thank you. Okay, moving on, um, public participation, we have none this evening. <clears throat> and so before we come out and we congratulate personally all the families and students, we're going to um, go into superintendent's comments and president's comments, and then we'll take a break. So Dr. Demensic. Well, thank you, Mrs. Schlegel, and good evening to everyone here and to also those watching on our live stream. Uh, thank you, Zach, for leading us in the pledge, and congratulations to all of our students that we have recognized this evening. So one thing that we'd like to note is that all of our upcoming events are obviously in person. However, we also are continuing to live stream many of these events. We have found, and thanks to the assistance of our tech department, that this is a real benefit for families that have family members out of town. So wherever possible, we're gonna to try to do that. Uh, things such as some of our band concerts and some of our other events, we're gonna to try to continue to live stream such events. So with that, uh, we have things like all of our spring sports, our elementary band concerts coming up on April 21st. Uh, we, of course, do have PSSA testing uh, in all of our elementary schools at the end of this month. Uh, we also host Leadership Lebanon Valleys through the Chamber of Commerce. We actually host that here, their Education Day, 
here at Cedar Crest High School in Cornwall, Lebanon. Great event where we have a lot of different community members that participate in that. We do also have our Falcon Foundation Grants and Awards Reception, which is back next Wednesday, the 26th. That is at the middle school at 7 p.m. And as it is already the end of April, we are continuing with our orientation now for our fifth grade students who will be going to the middle school next year. So that will be coming up also at the end of April. Uh, we do have the high school band concert, which is on May 1st, and National Teacher Appreciation Week, May 2nd through 6th. So lots of things is always happening here around the district. And once again, congratulations to all of our students. It is wonderful to see all of you here in attendance this evening. Thank you. Mrs. Schlegel. Okay, thank you, Dr. Demensic. Dr. Demensic, thank you for your um, updates, um, bringing to our attention the numerous events and activities that are being planned throughout the district, as well as many upcoming happenings that are being planned. Uh, we recognize that all of this is possible due to the hard work and commitment from our administration and staff. We also recognize that along with all this planning comes the significant responsibility of educating our students, providing them with quality programs, services, and opportunities for success. We are fortunate to be in a district where these efforts are appreciated by this school board, by our parents, and by our community. And now we are going to take a break so that we can come back and personally congratulate our families and our students.
We will continue now with our meeting, and we will continue um, with reports, and we will go to Intermediate Unit 13, Mrs. Diefenbach. Thank you, Mrs. Schlegel. Good evening, everyone. You will find three documents from me, not just two, three. Uh, including the one from Matt Stem, which he provided to us, and I asked him if I could share it. If you are interested, take a look. It just gives his, um, his goals and his timeline for taking over as executive director and continuing with the positive work worth doing that IU13 does. That's for your perusal. If anybody out there wants to see it, I'll show it to you. Uh, if you would go to the uh, report to local board, and then you'll see all the approvals and motions that were made. But if you scroll down to the very bottom, IU13 is celebrating 50 years of service this year, 50 years. Moha. So there is a, a big celebration on June the 9th, which we all have nothing to do coming up in summer. Ha -ha. But June the 9th from 4 to 7, stop over and you can have an evening of fun and activities and there will be more details and you can go online for that. 50 years. Huh? Oh. <laughs> it has been brought to my attention. <laughs> is, is that commencement? You know what? It, it, bu it bubbled up at the meeting, at the IU13 meeting, which was held, by the way, in Lebanon at One Cumberland on the 13th of April, and somebody else jumped up and said, oh man, we have commencement, and I thought, I better go look, and I never did, so never mind then, I'll bring you, we'll get a cupcake from some other place. <laughs> um, and then the third, re the third report is, of course, the IU uh, report about helping districts help students and it, you will find that Cornwall Lebanon participated in a number of those activities. We did make a change to our meeting calendar to accommodate the president, Dr. Joe Fullerton of our board is on the Penn Manor board. Is that right? Yeah. And by the way, Dr. Domensic was mentioned at our meeting for participating in a board, in a panel for superintendents. for. For aspiring administrators because, yeah, because we're really facing, as in the teaching and all the other places, administrative shortages. So thank you for doing that. Anyway, the next meeting will be May 25th instead of May 18th, and then the June meeting will be on the 22nd so that Dr. Fullerton can attend and, and uh, preside. That ends my report. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Mrs. Diefenbach. And now we'll move to four, Lebanon County Tax Collection Committee, Mrs. Hentz. I do not have any report. Our next quarterly meeting is Wednesday, May the 18th at 6.30. Okay, thank, thank you. you. And now to Lebanon County Career and Technology Center. This will be different tonight. We actually um, have our meeting tonight because of this switch. I'm not there, I'm here. So uh, I will give the report at our next, at our next um, meeting. Um, but I did already uh, review the March items, which were in board docs last time. And I know that the CTC um, newsletter is in board docs uh, right now, but I will review the April newsletter next, next month. So that concludes what I have to say about career in tech. Uh, moving along to number six, Pennsylvania School Boards Association, Ms. Carpenter. Thank you, Mr. Slagle. Um, so I do have a couple dates for um, if we have not all gotten our training and you were elected last in the fall. Um, there is a virtual for new school board directors. Um, there's one at the end of this month on April 23rd, and there's also one on May 3rd. There is a virtual for advanced school board directors, and that is on April 30th. Have we all gotten, we've all done our training, so I don't have to say that every month? Correct? Okay. I'm not exactly sure where everyone's at, but we can check on that. If, you, if you're not sure, please check with myself or with Mrs. Schott, and then we'll We'll right. let you know where Just you making sure that. I don't want to keep boring you guys with those dates. <laughs> no, it's good it. to have those reminders. It's other opportunities. To yeah, and then there's a Spring Advocacy Day on April 25th, and then there's an EDPAC or Education Political Action Committee. I did get an invitation for that 
and we'll talk to you about that. Um, that's on April 25th. There is a virtual sectional meeting. Um, there's, there, these are both past meetings. There was one on April 4th and April 6th. There is um, in-person spring legal roundup. There's one in Norristown that happened on April 5th. Schnecksville on April 7th. Clarion is going to be on April 26th. Greensburg will be on April 27th. Um, there is also a virtual option for spring legal roundup, and that would be on May 3rd. Um, there will also be an in-person session board leadership workshop series on April 27th, and that is a four-month um, series that you could go through. All right, and that concludes my section. Okay, thank you, Ms. Carpenter. And that concludes the reports. So we'll move along to e-consent items. And could I have a motion to approve the minutes, please? I move we approve the minutes of the March 21st, 2022 regular board meeting. Second. Motion is second. All those in favor, show of hands. Motion approved nine to zero. And moving along to Treasurer's report, a motion, please. I move we approve the Treasurer's report. Second. Motion is second. All those in favor, show of hands. Motion passes nine to zero. And three, payment of general fund bills. I move we pay the bills. And I second that we pay the bills. Motion is second. All those in favor, show of hands. Motion passes nine to zero. And now we'll move to action items, starting with number one, building and grounds. Mr. Snyder. Thank you, Mr. Schlegel. Make a motion to ratify contract with Ingenuity for the repairs to the pool dehumidifier unit at the Cedar Crest High School at a base amount of $13,072 through CoStar pricing. Is there a second? Second. second. M motion and a second. All those in favor, show of hands. Motion passes nine to zero. Make a motion to award a contract covering the 2022 paving project at the Cornwall Elementary School to Martin Paving Incorporated per their aggregate bid total in the amount of $69,087.10. Second. Motion and a second. All those in favor, show of hands. Motion passes nine to zero. And make a motion to award a contract covering the district hot water tank replacement at the Cedar Crest High School to 3B Services Incorporated per their base bid in the amount of $66,800. Second. Motion and a second. All those in favor, show of hands. Motion is approved nine to zero. And that concludes building the grounds. Thank you, Mr. Snyder. We'll move along to two, community relations curriculum and staff development, Ms. Carpenter. Thank you, Mr. Slegel. I would like to make a motion to approve the lear learning focused proposal to provide professional development refresher training in the amount of $144,005 funded by the American Rescue Plan Acts Elementary and Secondary School Emergency Relief Fund as a part of the learning law set aside. Second. Motion and a second. All those in favor, show of hands. Motion is approved nine to zero. Great, and I would like to make a motion to approve recommendation that the textbook being considered for adoption for the 2022-2023 school term be placed on the table for inspection until the May 16th, 2022 board meeting. Second. Motion is second. All those in favor, show of hands. And motion is approved nine to zero. And I would like to make a motion to approve credit reimbursements in the amount of $10,926.60. Second. Motion and a second. All those in favor, show of hands. Motion is approved 9 to 0. And that concludes my section. Thank you, Ms. Carpenter. And we'll move along to three extracurricular. Mr. Zug. I move to approve the following use of the facilities. Cedar Crest High School swim team to use the Cedar Crest Middle School Cafetorium on Sunday, April 24th, 2022, from 4.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. for their team banquet. Lebanon Valley Family YMCA to use the South Lebanon Elementary School Monday through Friday, June 13th through August 19th, 2022, 6.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. for their summer camp program. Camp Invention to use Cornwall Elementary School, Monday through Friday, June 27th through 
July 1st, 2022, from 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. for Science, Technology, Engineering, Math Camp, Iron Valley United Soccer Club, to use the Earl Boats Bolt Stadium on Sunday, May 1st, 2022, from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. for players' tryouts. Second. Motion is second. All those in favor, show of hands. Motion is approved nine to zero. I move to approve the following overnight field trips. Cedar Crest High School Quiz Bowl team to Atlanta, Georgia, Friday, May 22nd, 2022, to May 30th, 2022, for the National Quiz Bowl Championship. Cedar Crest High School wrestling team to Lycoming College, Saturday, June 25th, 2022, to Wednesday, June 29th, 2022, for team camp. Cedar Crest High School basketball team to Alverna University, Friday, July 22nd, 2022, to Sunday, July 24th, 2022, for team camp. Cedar Crest High School student council to Boyertown High School, Thursday, November 3rd, 2022, to Saturday, November 5th, 2022, for state conference. Second. Motion a second. All those in favor, show of hands. Motion passes nine to zero. I move to approve the list of auxiliary op organizations for the 2022-2023 fiscal year for insurance purposes. And Second. that's a list, I'm sorry. sorry. That's attached, by the way, the list. Second. Motion and a second. All those in favor, show of hands. Motion is approved nine to zero. I move to approve the athletic department event staff and aquatic staff hourly rates for the 2022 2023 fiscal year, and that's attached also. Second. Motion and a second. All those in favor, show of hands. Motion is approved nine to zero. That concludes my section. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Zug. And now moving to four finance business, Mr. Smith. Thank you, Mr. Slegel. Make a motion to approve the Lancaster Lebanon Intermediate Unit 13 General Operating Budget for Core Programs of Service and instructional media services for the 2022-2023 fiscal year. Second. Motion is second. All those in favor, show of hands. Motion approved nine to zero. Make a motion to approve the renewal of the vision insurance contract with the Pennsylvania State Education Association for the period of July 1, 2022 to June 30, 2024. Second. Motion is second. All those in favor, show of hands. Motion approved nine to zero. Make a motion to approve the renewal of the dental insurance contract with United Concordia for the period of July 1, 2022 to June 30, 2023. Second. Motion is second. All those in favor, a show of hands. Motion passes nine to zero. Make a motion to approve the renewal of the long-term disability and life insurance contract with CM Regent for a period of July 1, 2022 to June 30, 2023. Second. Motion is second. All those in favor, a show of hands. Motion approved nine to zero. Make, an, make a motion to approve the transfer of $1.6 million from the general fund to the capital reserve fund. Second. Motion and a second. All those in favor, show of hands. Motion passes nine to zero. Make a motion to approve the proposed 2022-2023 classified employees compensation matrices, longevity bonus schedules, and other positions, schedule, and guidelines. Second. Motion and a second. All those in favor, show of hands. Motion passes nine to zero. Make a motion to approve budget transfers as per section 687 of the school code. Second. Motion and a second. All those in favor, show of hands. Motion is approved nine to zero. That concludes finance and business. Thank you, Mr. Smith. And moving along to five personnel, Mr. Donaghy. Thank you, Mr. Schlegel. Uh, number one, I make a motion to accept the following resignations. Uh, Steve Leiter, assistant middle school Track and field coach, effective March 17th, 2022. Cody Hassler, weight training, second semester, 33%, effective March 21st, 2022. Andrew Gates, boys, assistant middle school, basketball coach, effective March 25th, 2022. Anthony Gambles, district custodian, Cedar Crest High School, effective March 31st, 2022. Brian Kimmy. Elementary Cafeteria Manager, Cornwall Elementary School, effective May 19th, 2022. Renee Krause, Primary Assistant, South Lebanon Elementary School, effective at the conclusion of the 2021-22 school year. Gina Carolla, Family and Consumer Sciences Instructor, Cedar Crest High School, effective at the conclusion of the 
2021-22 school year. Kelly Snyder, careers awareness instructor, Cedar Crest Middle School, effective at the conclusion of the 2021-2022 school year. Caitlin Fossey, Cedar second grade instructor, Cornwall Elementary School, effective at the conclusion of the 2021-2022 school year. Patricia Zug, school secretary, elementary, Union Canal Elementary School, effective at the conclusion of the 2021-2022 school year due to retirement. Second. Motion is second. All those in favor, show of hands. <laughs> Motion passes nine to zero. Good luck, Joel. <laughs> Number two, I make a motion to approve the following request for leave. Karen Marzok, mathematics instructor, Cedar Crest High School, professional development leave, effective 2022-2023 school year. Steve Leiter, instruct, industrial arts instructor, Cedar Crest Middle School, professional development leave, effective 2022-2023 school year. Amy Kirsch, first grade instructor, South Lebanon Elementary School, child bearing leave, effective approximately July 25th, 2022. And Kaylee Reb, fourth grade instructor, South Lebanon Elementary School, child bearing leave, effective approximately October 23rd, 2022. Second. Motion is second. All those in favor, show of hands. Motion approved nine to zero. Number three, I make a motion to approve the following changes in employment status. Ron Miller from temporary to permanent transfer electrician at an hourly wage of $22.09, effective April 20th, 2022. And Scott Hauer from temporary to permanent transfer maintenance group leader at an hourly wage of $31.31, .31, effective April 20th, 2022. Second. Motion is second. All those in favor, show of hands. Motion passes nine to zero. Number four, I make a motion to approve, ratify employment of the following personnel effective with the 2021-2022 school year, pending completion of pre-employment materials. Dan Brickley, supervisor of buildings and grounds at a salary of 83,870, prorated based on start date. Jared Dalbert, assistant middle school track and field coach at a salary of $2,956 and day-to-day -day substitutes. Second. Motion is second. All those in favor, show of hands. Motion approved nine to zero. And Mr. Brickley is here tonight. Congratulations. <laughs> Number five, I make a motion to approve ratify employment of the following personnel effective with the 2022-2023 school year pending completion of pre-employment materials. Isaiah Reed, boys assistant middle school soccer coach at a salary of $2,956. Leo Torado, boys assistant middle school basketball coach at a salary of $3,196. Second. Motion and a second. All those in favor, show of hands. Motion passes nine to zero. Number six, I make a motion to approve the following volunteer, Gerald Stiver, track and field. Second. Motion is second. All those in favor, show of hands. Motion approved nine to zero. That ends my report. Thank you, Mr. Donaghy. Now we'll move to six, policy and management. Mr. Bensing. Thank you, Mr. Schlegel. I make a motion that we approve the firm of Riley Wolfson, attorneys at law, as school solicitor for the period of July 1st, 2022 through June 30th, 2023 at an annual annual retainer of $5,000 and an hourly rate of $195 per extra services and $180 for services performed by an associate attorney. Second. Motion is second. All those in favor, show of hands. Motion is approved nine to zero. I make a motion to approve the firm of Sweet Stevens, Katz and Williams, LLP, to provide representation for select special education situations during the 2022-2023 school year at an hourly rate of $170 for attorneys and $130 for legal assistance for routine matters and $200 for attorneys and $130 for legal assistance for non-routine matters. Second. Motion is second. All those in favor, show of hands. 
Motion approved nine to zero. I make a motion to approve the final adoption of the following policies that were placed on the table for review at the March 2021st. 2022, March 21st, 2022 board meeting, CLSD 626, Federal Fiscal Compliance, revised. Second. Motion and a second. All those in favor, show of hands. Motion approved 9 to 0. I make a motion to approve recommendation that the following revised policies be placed on the table for review until the May 16th, 2022 board meeting, CLSD 236.1, Threat Assessment, new. CLSD 710, Use of School Vehicles by Staff, revised. Second. Motion and a second. All those in favor, show of hands. Motion passes 9 to 0. Thank you, Mr. Slagle. That ends my section. Thank you, Mr. Bensing. And we'll move to 7, Pupil Services and Cafeteria, Mrs. Diefenbach. Thank you, Mrs. Schlegel. I neglected something very important in the IU13 report. Under business services, we awarded the bids for catalogs, discount catalogs, and this question was specifically asked, are those prices in those catalogs firm for the year? And we double checked, and yes. So if you're ordering from the assistive technology, athletic trainer, medical supplies, custodial supplies, classroom instructional supplies from IU13, those are absolutely solid prices for the year in a time when you can't go to the grocery store and buy your loaf of bread. Anyway, now, <laughs> coming back to my actual work tonight, <laughs> um, I move that we approve the renewal of a consultant agreement with Pennsylvania Counseling Services for two learning loss facilitators for the 2022-2023 school year funded by the American Rescue Plan Act's Elementary Secondary School Emergency Relief Fund as part of the learning loss set aside. Second. Motion a second. All those in favor, show of hands. Motion passes 9 to 0. I move that we approve the Dr. and Dennis list for the 2022-2023 school year as attached to your board docs. Second. Motion a second. All those in favor, show of hands. Motion is approved 9 to 0. I move that we ratify the amendment to the agreement with New Story Schools LLC in reference to student identified as 21-2204, effective March 4th, 2022, for the 2021-2022 school year. Second. Motion is second. All those in favor, show of hands. Motion passes nine to zero. If you didn't look at it, the cafeteria operating statement makes really good, happy reading. But anyway, I move that we approve the cafeteria operating statement for the period of July 1, 2021 through February 28, 2022. Second. Motion a second. All those in favor, show of hands. Motion Thank passed. Thank you to our cafeteria staff. And everybody stay tuned for the Fed's shifting, the shifting sands of food land. Anyway, okay. finally, I move that we approve the payment of cafeteria fund bills in the amount of $195,234.90. I second we pay the bills. Okay, motion and a second. All those in favor, show of hands. Motion passes nine to zero. And that ends my section. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Diefenbach. And now we'll move to eight, technology and transportation. Mrs. Lewandowski. Thank you, Mrs. Schlegel. I approve, I, boy, I've been listening too long. <laughs> That's what happens here at the very end. Um, I motion that we approve employment of van drivers employed by D.B. Fisher Transportation. Second. Motion and a second. All those in favor, show of hands. Motion is approved nine to zero. Thank you, Mrs. Lewandowski. Okay, that is um, what we have in our agenda for this evening. Now, uh, we do have an executive session where we will take action, um, but having no questions, we'll just go into the motions unless someone feels we need to go into executive. Okay, so we'll just go right into the motions then for this executive item.
I make a motion to accept that Cedar Crest Middle School student 212211 was in violation of weapons policy number 218.1. Second. Motion is second. All those in favor, a show of hands. Motion approved nine to zero. I make a motion to accept recommendation of administration to expel the Cedar Crest Middle School student 212211 from the Cornwall Lemon School District for a period of up to one calendar year, but allow the superintendent the discretion to modify the consequence. Second. Motion and a second. All those in favor, a show of hands. Motion approved nine to zero. And I make a motion to authorize and direct the solicitor and the school district administration to prepare a written adjudication involving Cedar Crest Middle School student 212211 to be signed by the appropriate school district representatives and to provide the adjudication as well as an explanation about appeal rights and about continuing education for the student in writing as promptly as possible. Second. Motion and a second. All those in favor, show of hands. Motion approved nine to zero. Okay. Now, I'm also going to announce um, that um, after last um, public work session, last week we had an executive session for the purpose of the student discipline issue and a personnel issue. This evening, um, after adjournment, we will go into executive session and we will have no action, but we will be doing that for the purpose of personnel. So at this time, I entertain a motion to adjourn. Move adjourn. Motion and a second to adjourn. This meeting is adjourned. Thank you.